I gave you. I know, but he finds you annoying now. I don't think so. As do most people who are watching this. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Walked right into that. All right, everybody, welcome back to 21090. I am Andy. This is Todd coming at you with another fantastic bourbon review. Mm. This time, an old friend comes back again as he does three times every I mean, year. It's larceny. Uh, it's, it's larceny. Your your first love in whiskey. It is. It's what got yeah, me into whiskey. Got you into whiskey. And maybe that's a bad thing. Well, <laughs> I mean. It's it's a uh, it's a passion, not a problem, Todd. So you're you're okay. You but um, look, you all know the story of John E. Fitzgerald. It's infamous by now. We've gone over it. Uh, if you don't know it, you can go back and watch a couple of our old videos. Yeah, we we'll appreciate like that as well. Times. Yeah. But uh, three times a year, they put out their barrel-proof version of the standard larceny, which is already a really nice sipper. It's a high weeder. Um, a one twenty two is the first of three releases yeah. this year. And Todd, I haven't tried it. You apparently, my friend, have. I found this about three weeks ago down the beach in <laughs> Delaware. That's... And I actually love it. So full disclosure, I've drank it already. I love it. So there's, you know, Full disclosure, room. if you didn't, that's yeah. dangerously low. Let's so. talk about what's in this. So it's 124.4 proof, a little bit higher than what we saw last year, mm -hmm. okay? We're talking about a 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley in okay. this. And there's not an age statement on it, but they say it's six, six to eight years. Yep. All right, so Super that's what we're working with. So let's pour this out. Let's and, do it. Uh, oh, Canada. <laughs> 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 All right, they're MSRP, 55, 60 bucks. I got this for $69. Now look, if you can get most of these for yeah. the MSRP, it's usually worth I it just for because. Yeah. In Delaware, no tax. Good. To me, it's a buy, right? There you go. I'm going to buy it. Home of my favorite Joe. Blacko. So let's. Uh... Uh, let's get a nose on this, Andy. <laughs> Ooh, man, I tell you what. Big time molasses on that. It's very sweet. A little bit of punch on that, right? Wow. Yeah. Come not a little... used to it. You, no, high weeder, right? No, usually yeah. softer. Come a little hot. It's not your. It's not your uh, father's uh, larceny barrel proof. You know what I mean? Like this is a different beast. I think this year, and I love it. Now, some people out there have said, "Oh, it's a bit well." We'll get to it. I don't want to spoil it for you because you haven't had this. No, I, I mean, look, the, mm. the nose is still carrying a lot of that those those kind of sweet, Molasses, sweet dark notes. Fruit. Yeah, you get some uh, oak on that too, which is interesting. Uh, a little bit, but you are fighting through a little bit of that heat coming I like off it, there. Though. It's different because this is a yeah, high weeder. It right? reminds me a little bit like the Knob Creek, uh, mm. you know, 120, the nine year, that, that where you're fighting through to pull some of those pretty notes out, but they're still there. So, yeah, you can tell it's a high proof. Yeah. All, All right. right cheers, bud. Cheers. The nose mm -hmm. comes off like it punches you in the face. Good label that. The, the, the palate, rock star winner. Told this you. is This is better Told than you. most. I and mean, this is the first sip I've had better than probably any large team barrel proof that I've had so far. I Thank love you. that. Okay, so. Thank you. I'm sorry. Take, I've heard take, some reviews that weren't that, that, that great about this. Well, and I love look, it. if you're not a fan of. Well, see, I'm not even gonna say the gut punch because I just mm. compared it to the Knob Creek, like um, you know, the 129 year. Mm. But let's be honest, that's that's a gut punch, aged longer. This mm. to me, and maybe this is where the benefit comes from, you know, being a high weeder. But does this taste like a high weeder? It's still a pro well, but it's approachable. It, what I like is that this is this doesn't come across on the palate as high a proof as it does on the nose, and. You get the cinnamon notes. Yeah, here's what I love about you this. Get the, you get some of those vanilla notes coming through there. Um, Brown sugar, dark sugar. It's sweet and spicy, mm -hmm. right? You get that sweet sort of uh, up front mm -hmm. with the brown sugar, the, the, the dark cherries, so to speak, and then it sort of that spice comes through at the end and finish. You give you that hug. Yeah. I love it all. You can tell you're drinking higher proof. I don't think it's... It's so, like unapproachable heat. I think it's more like... I, I think so. No, no. Right? I, think, I think it's very approachable. In yeah. fact... I'd I almost this. say the only knock on this, Look at the legs as on high that. proof as it is, yeah, the viscosity is there. Yeah. The finish is a little short considering just how high proof this well, is. Well, 124, yeah. But compare it to other large Well, that's what I was going to say. So you think of Elijah Craig, three times a year the barrel proof comes out. Yeah. And it's been on constant rotation. Yeah. Larceny is joining that club. And eventually, it's hard to kind of pick one out that you're like, you know what, I kind of gravitate towards this. Does this? 
in a sea of blended kind of bourbons that kind of mesh together for so at least for me. Yes. This one stands out as a winner. No wonder you have killed Nell I told three you, right? quarters of the bottle. How I love it. Amazing is that. Yep. This is great. Past purchases are poor. News flash. This is a purchase. Boom. Find it, grab it, get it. Especially if you're in Delaware. A one twenty. Here's thank the problem. you, Mr. Flacco. Yeah, thank you. Because tax free. Really tax-free. good. Yeah. Here's what I don't like about this: is why is Lars? It's so hard to get it. It's like delayed now. This is A one twenty two. We're in May. That that part I can't figure I out. It. But uh, if you find it, grab it. Yeah. And speaking of May, the new one's about to drop. <laughs> well, we won't get it to probably apparently. August. But uh, it's going to have uh, to be pretty good to live up to, to the A one twenty two because this is really good. Love so. it. There you go. Great stuff, if man. If you've had it, comment below. Let us know. Yeah. If you disagree, that's fine. Tell us why. We'd love to banter back and forth with you. But in the meantime, mm. if you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell in the corner. It's going to let you know every time we got a new video coming out. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Untapped. And we go live every Tuesday night with Glam and Drams. Everything beer, bourbon, and rock and roll, distilleries, breweries, special guests, all kinds of fun yep. giveaways. It's a good time. Come join us. And of course, we want to thank all of you who are YouTube members and especially the Patreon members. Lots of behind the scenes stuff. Yes. That you can't content. find yep. anywhere else. Um, come join us. We appreciate having you. Thank you so much. But. So, hey, starting off really well, I think, for, yeah, this, this is a winner. for Larson Barrel Proof. This is a winner. Let's see how so the next un- one goes. Until next time, my friend. Yeah, man. And. Uh, there will be next time. Glad you finished that. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's mm. fit. I'm telling you, I love it. I love it. There's a reason why I drank, right? <laughs> Come on, baby. Wow, that was the best spin ever. Hopefully, that's still going. That's how you have to end it. You have to end the video like awesome. that. Awesome.